Hi, my name is Derek Lamb, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Gurchin Housego. I'm here today to introduce you to the two styles of calibration standards we offer, specifically our Radiance Lamp standards and our Integrating Sphere-based Radiance standards. Let's begin with the Irradiance standards. These standards are typically used to calibrate systems which do not make use of wide-angle viewing optics. Such systems include lux meters, radiometers with bare detectors, or perhaps cosine collection optics such as integrating spheres. They can also be used to calibrate total output collection optics such as large integrating spheres. Now, our typical standards are quartz tungsten halogen based and are offered in a wide variety of calibration options. These options include spectral irradiance anywhere from 250 to 4500 nanometers, color temperature, illuminance, and total irradiance calibrations. Now our standards are typically calibrated by comparison to a transfer standard, which is calibrated using our in-house NIST standard. If your application calls for improved uncertainty values, the option is available to have your standard calibrated directly against the NIST standard. If your work is in the UV range, we also offer deuterium standards, which provide increased output in the spectral range from 200 to 400 nanometers. Now, in order to operate a precision or a calibrated lamp source, a precision current supply is required. This is because a small deviation in current can lead to a large spectrally based deviation in your calibration. The current supplies we offer provide a wide variety of benefits, such as the ability to store data and record individual use hours for multiple lamps, as well as the ability to provide a controlled ramp up and ramp down of the lamp current which increases the usable lifetime of the lamp by minimizing the risk of damage to the filament when a current is introduced too quickly. In addition to the current source, we also offer a wide variety of accessories, including lamp holders and FEL-style alignment jigs. Now, let's move on to our integrating sphere-based radius standards. These standards are typically used to calibrate systems where the field of view is well defined. Such systems include cameras, micro and telephotometers, <coughs> image intensifiers, and imaging spectroradiometers. Now, these sources provide a uniform output of light across the exit plane of the sphere. And depending on your application and calibration required, are available with and without a monitor diode. Calibration options for this source include color temperature, luminance, and spectral radiance from 350 to 2500 nanometers. Output filtering is also available to provide for conditions such as Illuminate D65. Now luminance calibrations are typically performed at 2856 Kelvin, whereas spectral radiance calibrations are performed at 3000 Kelvin for the best output. If your application requires use of different color temperatures, you may request them at the time of purchase. Now, output intensity is controlled via an internal variable aperture. Depending on the model, this aperture may be controlled either manually using a micrometer or may be completely automated. Now, unlike our irradiance lamp standards, our radiance standards are sold as a complete system consisting of an optics head and controller unit with built-in power supply. By now, you hopefully have enough information to determine which style of standard is most suitable to your application. If not, we're always happy to make a recommendation. Please contact us and let us know what units of measure you're interested in, which will help us determine the appropriate style of standard and what what the desired brightness levels are, which will help us determine the appropriate lamp wattage or integrating sphere size. That about wraps it up. If you have any questions or would like some more information, please feel free to visit us at www.goochandhousego.com or to contact us at sales at Have a good day.